Hey guys, so I am going to go ahead and disagree with Alpha Investment's newest video titled Old Magic is Flat, New Magic to the Moon, or whatever he titled it, New Magic 69. Oh, Old Magic is Flat, New Magical Lead. <laughs> At this point in time, if the Timmies are that stupid to not understand what's going on, I can't help them, but I will buy your collection for 50% more than Alpha Investment offers you. I know he offers very, very low on reserve. He offers very low on everything. Some of the stuff he doesn't even offer on, like MetaZoo. Uh, even the cards that you bought from him, ask him what he would take them back at. Many times he won't buy them. So back to my initial analysis of this situation. Yeah, uh, reserve list has been going up and up and up. You can look at Card Kingdom's buy list. They've been up anywhere between 20% to upwards of 45% depending on the card. They are very, very bullish. And honest to God, they know a lot more than Rudy. I think Rudy tricks his patrons or who are often very stupid individuals um but card kingdom they have to do business with people like me they have to do business with big traders big whales they're not doing business with timmy's right because the timmy's would rather sell to rudy for 10 percent of what card kingdom would pay them i have to compete against them if i want to buy cards from you in the same condition I need to give you a better offer because I understand. I fully understand. It's very easy to send it to Card Kingdom. Now, the whole idea of new magic, I don't think anyone believes this. I don't think anyone believes new magic is going to the moon. I don't I don't think anyone believes this. New magic has been garbage for as long as Rudy has been pushing it. People have lost a lot of money. A lot of money, man. And this type of advice is very dangerous. I don't think Rudy... Maybe Rudy does understand this because he does complain every so often. But there is a group of people who he has done a massive disservice to who cannot afford to lose the type of money they lost. They, they simply cannot afford to lose $8,200 on MetaZoo. That's a lot of money to this group of individuals. And they email me, and there's nothing I can do for them. I just say, hey, just sell it to Rudy and see what I, I don't I have no interest in it. Look, new magic is overprinted. It's reprints. It's all it is is reprint. Ravnica remastered had zero creativity. Maybe some anime artwork, right? But a lot of artwork was his own artwork they copied. Right, even the artistic value is questionable, in my opinion, as a artist myself. Just reprint, reprint, <laughs> add a new frame, guys. You, you do realize how easy it is to make a frame on Adobe, right? Like, new magic has no appeal because new magic will always be replaced by better magic. If you think Ravnica remastered, Dominaria remastered. Wait until we get Ravnica remastered, double mastered. Double remastered. Right? I mean, it's not like that's happened. Oh, wait, it has happened. Like, everything <laughs> will be reprinted. That's why I don't invest or even suggest buying new magic. It's garbage because th then they'll have, like, some random... You know what I'm talking about, right? Like, these secret layers and so on. They're just so random. And I get it's not for everybody, but my God, there's like 20 versions of, no, I'm, I'm serious. Like go on Shockland and see how many versions of Hollow Fountain there are. Actually, I don't know. I'm going to type in Hollow Fountain. <laughs> it's so bad, guys. Okay, Hollow Fountain, there is Return to Ravnica, Ravnica Remastered. Ravnica Remastered Retro Frame, Secret Lair Drop Series, Ravnica Allegiance, 
promo pack, Throne of the Aldrin. Throne of Aldrin hand shot glands? What? Hollow Fountain Borderless from Round the Cut Remastered. Dissension, which is the original printing. Hollow Fountain Borderless from Uninfinity. Zendikar Expedition, Hollowed Fountain. Uninfinity, Hollowed Fountain Borderless Galaxy Flo Foil. And Round the Cut Remastered, Hollow Fountain Retro Frame Serial Number. Then there's the Secret Lair Super Drop, Culture Shock. Esper non foil edition, and then these there's Bant. So I'm assuming they also have these hollow fountains in them. So on TCG player, I see four, 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 two. I see 14 reprints of a shock land. Guys, that, that's not a good sign. 14 reprints so far. In the next five years, there will be another 14 reprints. I promise you this. There are just too many. They're not valuable. Nothing in modern magic is valuable anymore because they will be reprinted in some secret lair or some... I mean, Ravnica... I, I really have a problem with Ravnica Remastered. I have a big problem with this type of set because no creativity, no new cards... Some anime artwork thrown in, right? And, and it's like so weird. If you keep buying this shit and this garbage, they will keep producing this garbage. Do you not understand? Like how lazy it is for them just to be like, oh, I know what we can do. We can take all the cards from Dominaria, throw it in a new set. Oh, I know what we can do. We can take all the cards from Ravnica. Oh, I know what we can do. We can take all the cards from... Uh, Lorwyn and so on. We'll throw them in a set. Guys, this is not what you're paying money for the card game for. It's not. It, it cannot possibly be the uh, solution. It is the old school cards that are most important, in my opinion. Because they have value. They have tradition. They have nostalgia. They, they are collectible. None of these new cards are collectible. I'm looking at the price point right now, and the most expensive Hollow Fountain is either the Hollow Fountain Borderless Galaxy Foil from Uninfinity, a terrible set, a serialized Hollow Fountain out of five, it's out of five hundred, or the Hollow Fountain Zendikar Expedition. But I bet you, in the next five years, there's going to be another Hollow Fountain, and it's going to be more expensive than any of them. It's going to be some type of etched foil, gold, layer, parallel, gilded, serialized, numbered card. <laughs> it's lame, guys. This is lame. You guys know it's lame. If you do sell reserve list, please do not sell it to Alpha Investment. Sell it to me. I will pay you much higher. 50% higher.